Hello everybody! Today I got a lucky chance to cycle in the amazing Kew Gardens. Usually you cannot do that, but for one day a year Kew opens its doors to cyclists of all ages for the iconic summer cycle at Kew event. Today I'm cycling together with my daughter Arina. Hello! And in this video we are going to show you how does it looks and feels like to cycle in the amazing Kew Gardens. Shall we? Kew Gardens is the largest and one of the most beautiful botanical gardens in the world, and it feels truly amazing to cycle next to its iconic landmarks such as Palm House, Temperate House, Great Pagoda, The Hive, and many more. The gardens are absolutely huge, with astonishing 300 acres of space, so everybody will be able to find something they would love there. Even though the gardens are one of the most favorite places for lots of Londoners, it doesn't feel crowded at all during the annual Q Summer Cycle event. So you can both enjoy the serenity and tranquility of the gardens, as well as socialize with your friends and family. Kew Gardens is a home for more than 40,000 species of plants, as well as a wide variety of animals and birds, and no visit is complete without meeting mercurial Canadian geese there. As you can see, there are lots of kids and parents in the gardens during the Kew summer cycle. The gardens are very kids-friendly, both during regular opening hours as well as during the event, so it is a great place for young cyclists to enjoy the nature. Hello everybody, and my name's Arena, and today me and my daddy are cycling in Kew Gardens. If your kids would like to have even more action during the visit, there is an amazing children's garden playground, which is also open during the Kew summer cycle, even though the event happens late in the afternoon. In addition to regular activities, Q added some great entertainment options exclusively for the summer cycle event, with charismatic and witty performers, live music, and guided tree tours. Oh, no. Hooray! Oh, it's Arena, isn't it? It took me a moment there. I had to tick, 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 tick. I remember. Brilliant. Way to travel. There's gravity meant it, you see. <laughs> if God meant it to have gears on our bikes, he'd have. And that doesn't quite work, does it? Oh no, well, there we go. No, that's just how it is. Come on, then. Come on. Come on. So we are about to conclude our journey through Kew Gardens, and experience so far has been absolutely amazing. The place is super beautiful, it's a joy to cycle through, the roads are amazing, you have all sorts of uh, pathways uh, throughout the gardens, uh, which is just a pleasure to go through. It's also very kids friendly, so lots of kids and parents, and all sorts of facilities that you might need. Uh, so I would definitely recommend to bring your kid to cycle throughout the place. And also, which is uh, the, the fact that it's very uh, kind of close to my heart that half of the uh, people cycling in the gardens are cycling on Bromptons, uh, which I think is absolutely amazing. So if you did not cycle here before, I would definitely recommend it. It's probably the cycling highlight of a year for me. So definitely circle this day in your calendar and give it a try next year if you uh, did not have a chance to do it today. See you next time.
Are we off? Time for bed, isn't it? I think I need to sleep. Are you feeling a little tired? Dad's looking tired. I think everybody needs to go to bed and sleep till 10 in the morning.